<laughs> this looks, looks flat enough to me. Yeah, yeah, this will do. We just pulled, uh, or we didn't pull sled, we used the snow dog to uh, come on into camp and uh, pack down and put down a pad for the snow trekker. So we're going to let this snow sinter and harden and uh, we'll go back, we'll get our gear and uh, set up camp. There's, there's either the, the white ones or there's uh in the in between there's uh other ones. So I go through the loop. Alright. Give a couple give me a couple pulls from over here. I'll try this one here. And this one. Okay. Alright, I think we're good. So again. Put it in. I oh, should just go around. You know, I usually need to just do it once, but I usually do it twice because, just because. Yeah. That's it. All right, I'll do it. Here I am finally on a, uh, another winter camping trip with my snow dog. We just hauled in our gear and we're here for uh, three nights. It's uh, Friday uh, around noon up here in the Adirondacks and uh, the main focus of this trip um, is a two-day guided snowshoe hare hunting trip uh, with beagles beagle hounds to uh to run the the hares hopefully uh we'll tag a couple the daily limit each is for six but i'd be happy with one i'm fixing to set up uh set up our tent we came in and packed our uh, site down and uh my trip partner is uh, a fellow youtuber nature into action uh david it's the first name and he's um out on the lake uh putting out a couple tip-ups we're not sure how that's going to work out since uh the lake uh lake is frozen there's six at least six inches of ice but there's also a uh a layer of slush on top of it of three or four inches if not more and then on top of that there's uh four to five inches of uh fresh snow hard to uh, clear the, uh, the ice. I don't know about this. Slush. What, what uh, snow trekker do you have here? What size? Yeah. Uh, it's an oddball. It's an 8x12. Huh. They don't make them like that. It's it an early model. Yeah. Would you call that a short wall or no? Oh, it's, uh, it's a, a crew. Crew. Snow trucker crew. Neat. Yeah, I've had it for oh, 10 or 12 years, anyways. It was a, it's a 2000, yeah, 2008, I think, is on the model. Oh, yeah, on the tag. They, they put a model number on all their, uh, yeah, or a serial number on all their uh, tents. Yeah. Nice. Yeah.
So this is uh, the first night of three nights snowshoe hare hunting in the Adirondacks. We came in on Friday uh, and tried some ice fishing. No luck this afternoon. And I'm not sure how much we're going to accumulate in snow tonight, but you can't see across the lake at all right now. Dry ourselves out and have a nice venison stew meal and some Knob Creek. What are you doing this weekend? Corners, a uh, out east east of where you'll end up on the little bump there. I wandered out in there sometimes. We got a rabbit. Luke, when he came back toward the creek and came back toward you guys, you're going to get a shot, but he just got out of your reach. For some, but was not to be. Um, so whatever. When you're ready, let me know. You know what you want to do. Yeah, we'll just keep moving, Frank. I think uh, probably pick it up the where, where a rabbit sits this time, and we'll see if the rabbit's ahead of us. Day two hare hunting. Uh, we saw an incredible amount of tracks yesterday and the dogs had some great runs. Um, we're hoping for more luck today. Uh, Kelly Nolan did see one yesterday. It bounded right at him, but uh, no shots fired. So we'll see. We'll see what happens today. Looks like a beautiful day. I'm on my way. This is Kelly. Good. Take your time. We'll be at the truck. So I think this is the end of the our two-day hunt. Um, 
but it was unsuccessful other than the fact that both of us did see um, a hare. The dogs ran several um, hares. And I must say, um, it was a uh, very uh, invigorating two days of snowshoeing. And I know I'm going to sleep well tonight, as I did last night. I'd probably do this again. I think I could have success with the dogs. And I'd come back on a uh, guided trip with Jamie. Well, I saw one bound across the flow. And then uh, just through the tiniest little bit of brush, I did see that black eye. But uh, that was the first snowshoe I've ever seen in my life. So I didn't, uh, didn't pull the trigger. Should have. I will next time. Happen awfully fast. Uh, but uh, hey, that's a that's a step forward. Try to look carefully. Yeah, he, he yipped a couple times walking through the woods. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't Some know. Jackets or something. Yeah. yeah. I think Dave's going to want a snow dog. Oh no! Whoops! Oh, took a spill. It's hard to uh, drive and film at the same time.
Hell yeah! Oh, that was fantastic. Did you see that sunset out there? Yeah. And this is hors d'oeuvres. All right, meatball sub. Meatball sub. Oh, you're loading me up? Thank you. One more meatball, and then there's a plenty of sauce. I'll, I'll, take, to I'll take a scoop of sauce if you can do that. Get as much sauce as we can. How much sauce? Woo! It's too hot. How much sauce? There we go. Yeah. Is that enough sauce? Uh, one more on the end. Which end? I'm um, closer to me. Right, yeah, excellent. brother. Excellent. Oh, I can do this, and then I'll take a video of it with a knob creek. <laughs> it's our second bottle. There's a little bit of sauce in there, so don't hesitate. Okay. All right. So, leftover uh, marinara sauce and meatballs from the Co-op in Niskayuna, and we're washing it down with knob creek, which we've been washing down for a little while. A little too much. I gotta start packaging these super small. I think we can do it. Yeah, we do our best. Now uh, inside my uh, wine again is a sort of like a uh, a spatula. It's a long handled oh. thin. Oh, I've got a. Uh... Okay, that's fine. Oh, I like those tongs. Where'd you get them all? You know what, a friend, a Luke Vaughn, a guy. Uh, uh, evil genius guy, I know, gave them to me. Those I think are, he got them from Chinatown. Those are really nice for uh, yeah. packing with, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And, and they fit. Um, watch Just throw this. them into my wand again when you're watch done. Watch this, you know, this is, you know. Oh, yeah. You don't think about, you forget you have them. I usually, uh, this is a big piece for this pan, but. Still this hot. Do you remember the deer it came from? I think this is from my my eight point buck this season. Nice. Yeah, I put out a doe and estrus scent and then I used the bleak can call and it came right in. And uh yeah, that was a terrific hunt. Everything came together. I had I was on a piece of private property, so it wasn't as pressured. So it was nice to kind of be able to trick them using that, using that, using those, you know, using that scent and call. Where on the public land, it's so pressured. Right. I, you know, I don't know if it'd work quite as quite as well. In your spices, a little Montreal steak seasoning. So I'm thinking about three minutes on each side, um, maybe four because it's a big cut, and you got the stove nice and hot. Well, for anybody viewing, it smells wonderful. <laughs> rice peel off right yeah i think it was honestly i didn't even look at the package yep. i just ripped it open yeah. uh, do we want this pinto beans yeah yeah we get those in soup oh yeah i don't know maybe venison tenderloin Nice. Excellent.
I've got hot sauce. 